morning we are in beautiful Vero Beach. This is where I was born and raised at. Spent many, many years here, and it's so nice to just be able to come back. This morning, the run must continue. We have a run, a beautiful four mile run with a few strides at the end. We are still sitting at around that 8.40, uh, 9.15 minute pace. We're just gonna enjoy this run, enjoy this morning. As you can see, this beautiful sunrise behind me. Let's get into this thing. I'm excited, I'm happy to be back. Happy to do this, let's do it. Dry carb is just like, it's like a liquid carb. I like to eat anything too heavy on my stomach before running. I just get my energy and calories in through a liquid form of carb. Hanging out with these young dudes and they tell me I was like, shit, good morning to you too, man. <laughs> being neglected by some dude who lived in one of the dorm rooms and so some of the girls on the floor said knew that Jason lived off campus so they called him and then he went on a trip bring went to Miami yeah and she came to stay with me and then um, she never left it was just better it was just be better there. for her to Pop it, all these budgets wanna copy the style Tell them niggas stop it, whoa, whoa It's my destiny for the like Latoya Like it found me my Beyonce And she shotgun in the cockpit uh, Got in with the team, make a scene notes In my pocket still full of green, call it CeeLo Alligator watch on me, Tim Tebow And these haters love Workout to me is like done, good workout That was uh, four miles I think our pace was right at an 8.50 So that felt good, felt strong I'm really getting used to like, you know Finding my rhythm earlier because this watch, so I have the Garmin Forerunner 955, and this watch with all my workouts that are programmed, they're synced to my watch. So if I go over these paces, it like gives me this annoying alarm and just lets me know that I'm over my projected pace. I'm finding, you know, a faster and smoother rhythm on all of these. Good workout. We're going to grab something to eat. Then we have something exciting that we're doing with the truck, and then we're gonna jump into a workout and just enjoy beautiful Vero Beach today, so let's do it. Fast lane when I pass in the street, bag of money in the passenger seat. Sent foes been asking for me on the road from the west to the east. Way up, I might never come down, cause the coast racking up the flame miles. 
so high, I might never come down So what, this is my lifestyle Fast lane when I pass in the street Bag of money in the passenger seat Ten foes been asking for me On the road from the west to the east I'm getting food now or you want to change? Hey, I'm down to change, bro Change, man Food and then go straight up to so high, About that come down, So what, this is my lifestyle this is the bridge that kind of formulated my liking, I would say, for running. I was just about to graduate high school, or actually just did. I was going to college for a position I didn't want to play anymore. In order to play the new position, which was linebacker or fullback that I wanted to play, I knew like I had to lose some weight. I turned to running, and I ran that bridge like probably every single day. And I like formulated this like just liking for it. So running for me started out way back in my senior year of high school. And then throughout, you know, the years, I always kept up with it. I wouldn't say I took it serious until like now. I started liking it more and more. I decided to run that half marathon. And then after doing, you know, pretty well for somebody who wasn't training and wasn't doing anything to prepare themselves for a half marathon, I decided like, wow, I'm gonna, you know, prioritize this and really take this on. So taking running serious is like new for me, but running in general is not. Greens, drink your greens. And it smells phenomenal, so I'm excited to try this. Green, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I hate greens. So we just got back to the Airbnb. We are about to shower up. And then we're gonna go grab some food. And um, from there, we're doing something really exciting with the truck. Excited for you guys to see. I'm gonna take your mechanic's favorite bacon, like home fries, toast please, or wings. Can I also add on a two more eggs? Is there any way to do those like egg whites? Okay. We're at the famous Mrs. Max filling station. So in high school, we used to always come here uh, during like spring. We'd have like practice in the morning around like 9 o'clock. And then we'd always come here before. Get some food, coffee, go to practice, go work out. This place is just a, a gym of Vero Beach. Great place. Say day one. This is the definition of day one. Bro, me like bikes. Like we grew up right next to each other. Uh, like this probably has like three and a half inch block. Mine has two. And then the three and a half bit. So it's like we well, go two and a half. Did Ricky tell you to go with the three? Yeah. I figured. Yeah. <laughs> It's perfect. We 
We just left from getting the truck leveled. So we added a three inch leveling kit to the front of the truck. So it was sitting, you know, nose diving kind of just because it was all stock. And now we just brought it up so it's all leveled out with the rear end. There was a piece that we were missing. Nothing that's going to be life-threatening or anything. It was just the track bar drop. We just contacted the place I got the leveling kit from so they can get that sent over and then we can get that installed uh, this weekend. We are now headed to the gym. Gonna do some back, taking these guys through a back workout. Let's knock it out. I need like a scoop and a half of food. This is a cool private gym. The owner, kind of a little bit about his story, he used to work as a nurse uh, in the Vero Beach Hospital. And then COVID hit, he just decided that he wanted to take on, you know, training full time. So he opened up a small little gym in his garage and then they eventually came here. And now it's just, you know, a really cool gym. It's more of that private feel. Uh, it's not commercial at all. When I'm home, I love coming to this gym. Um, and check it out if you're in Vero Beach. Start off our back day, we're gonna just jump into four by 10 pull-ups. And then we're just gonna jump into, you know, some rows, all the good stuff. Workout is done. We were at Publix. Um, we're on the road. We wrapped up our workout, chugged some protein, and then now we're on the way back to Tampa. Um, so we're going to run into Publix, get some food, fuel up, and then head back home. Uh, it's been a great trip, but it's coming to an end. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in to this vlog. Um, make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Um, and let me know how you guys are enjoying these videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. King.